On the 12th of April 2015, people from all over Plymouth, artists from all over Plymouth, gathered for Plymouth First Arts Fair. The art fair was created by David Crocker and a lot of work was involved over the last few weeks and months uh, in the planning of it and it all came together very well. I was there to meet the artist and say hello. Hello Dave, Dave Crocker. Hi Chris. So how's your uh, idea coming together? Yeah, I know, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's, uh, the whole process is that it's free and that there's no selection so any artist can come along, be they established or brand new and display their art directly to the public. And what's it called? It's uh, the Plymouth Hoe uh, Arts Fair. Oh right, there's the sign for it, yeah. Okay. On the colonnade at Plymouth Hoe. Um, and that's the basic principle, that, that we're not selecting anything out and everybody can come along and present their work and try and sell it to the public who can buy direct from the artist, knowing that there's no commission being taken and no costs to set up. So when, when will the exhibition be on show? Well, we're going to do every Sunday that it's fine. So yes. people will have to go to our uh, Facebook page or the website and on each week, on a Thursday, Friday, we'll say, yes, the exhibition's on this Sunday or no, it's not. And what's the Facebook and the website? The, the website is www.plymouthhoeartfair.com Yes. And the website is uh, Plymouth Hoe Art Fair page. So. Okay, thanks a lot, Dave. There's been lots of people down there, and it's been a vibe this morning. Thank you, Chris. Thanks <laughs> so, so much. Thank well done. You. Cheers. Thank thanks you. a lot. Cheers. Yeah, take Hello, you're out take Leslie Duncan. Tea. Hello, yes, I'm Leslie Duncan. And oh, we're just about to have a look at your work. Huh? Oh, some right. interesting stuff here, actually, you're almost abstract. So, yeah. do you want to go through it with us? It's all, all but one of them. The, this one with the chimneys, yes. Kit Hill, uh -huh. How long do you know was that uh, done? I think it's about two years. Yes. It's all, this is all about two years old, this one. But the other four that I've got here today are all in our hours of sea. Yeah. And they're about the light on the sea and the stars. Yeah, And you really, really get into the paint, don't you? You uh, scratch it and Yes, they've all, all, layer it. All but one of them have got um, polyfiller underneath. My work. So it gives, gives you a nice texture to work with and yeah. you just have to use the shapes really. I don't plan <laughs> so you've got cards there as well, have you? Yes. So have you, have you had any exhibitions or anything? No, I haven't. This is Are you my self taught? First. I went to art college, but then I put my paintbrush down and didn't pick it up again for about Which 30 years. Which college did you go to? Hull. Hull? <laughs> oh, um, north. Hull up north. So, so that's where you found that? Yes, but I come from the other side, I come from the west of the country. Yeah. So I used to have to do the journey across the Pennines. So how long have you been in Plymouth? 25 years now. But it's a bit <laughs> longer than me. I was up north. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get in tar? Do you know I did it because my friends were doing it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, sort of art club thing. I suppose, well, I suppose so. We all went to the same art college together. Yeah. And there was an art college at Southport, so we, we all went there. <laughs> I did enjoy it. Uh -huh. but, but I've come back to it since I went to a, an evening course at the art college here about three or four years ago. Yes. And then I was working in, well, I had a studio underneath the art gallery. Uh -huh. Here. You had a studio? Yeah, one of those underneath the, the art gallery. Oh, right, yeah. On, on the hoe here. Yeah. I just wandered when, in there. When did you have that then? Hmm? To the gallery it, on the hoe? Yes, yeah, I gave it I gave when, that studio. When it first about, opened? Yeah, yeah. Oh I know, on the on the lower ground floor. Yes. There were three studios. Yes. I took over well I borrowed Jeff's for a bit because he was away. Yes. And then Jeff came back but somebody else left, so I had that one. Uh -huh. But actually, luckily, I'd moved that out. That was before, before they got hit by the storm damage. Yes, last but year. I'd moved out by then. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a bit lucky. Well, luckily, I don't think there was any art in it at that stage. No, actually, I don't think there was. A, somebody called uh, Daisy was still there. I think she may have had a lot of damage, but I'd yeah. gone. I'd gone, so luckily. So have you sold much? Oh, no, I sold anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Well, it's interesting stuff, anyway. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot for that. You're welcome. Have you got a website? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you just wait for... Uh, One of these days. I haven't really... Will you be going into the new gallery on the home? Well, I hope so. Yeah. 
I so you love really an lefty work? I about the business side of it really, I just like to paint. Yeah. Take the sketchbook out, so if I... I just had those postcards printed last week. So we'll see. Um, I haven't thought about selling really. It's nice to come up here and yeah. see others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Friends yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've spoken to Tom Bird before and I'm just taking a little look at his work which is at the uh, exhibition on the home and I think Tom's out and about talking to people at the moment. So how's it going Tom? You alright? Yeah, yeah, not bad, thanks, yeah. <laughs> so it's a cold day isn't it? Everything's going well, there's lots of people here. Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean I think that sun might come out again. I'm hoping it will... Uh, <laughs> it's, it'll around. definitely come out again but I don't know what day it'll be on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, but yeah, it's good, good turnout actually. Yeah. yeah. Nice little moment. It, it, it is. Get talking to lots of people and. and um, so how's your art been doing since we last talked? Yeah, not bad. I'm selling lots of cards. Good. I might, uh, yeah, might go down that avenue quite a bit. Yeah. Because uh, that seems to be going best. Um, Are you selling anything on Facebook or through the social networking sites? I'm um, getting lots of um, recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been doing some commissions lately, so uh, that's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, it's all. So what are the commissions based on? Um, one of them was a book cover, yeah, and the other one is a Burr Island commission. Uh -huh. um, That's for your relatives. Yes, yes, for relatives. I shouldn't have said that. I should have kept it. <laughs> no, said it's for a client. No, it's good. No, no. I think any anyone's important. You know, yeah, of course. It's all um, yeah. As long as it's you know it's getting out there and, and you know can help people just enjoy where 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 we are and where we're living and. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, art and the landscape. Yeah. And nature. Yeah. Get people into it. Yeah. Like observing. You know. So yeah, and anyone. I'm just happy with what you know. I'm just happy doing. doing it. You know, yeah. so happy just doing it, and painting. And such a beautiful. I want somebody to buy that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice. I mean, I've got got prints. Got an A2 print and an A3 print. Yeah. Do you want to show, just show us the prints? Yeah, yeah, sure. <coughs> this one here is um, sold the original of that one. What size is that? Um, it's kind of, I guess I'd say, A3 squared. Uh -huh. well, what's, what's well, the I haven't got the one? exact measurements on me, but yeah, that's um, basically how it is there. Yeah. And that's uh, inspired by One All Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Mother, the big, Mother the big, Camaria. The big one's nice as a smaller print as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The uh, A3 one there. Yeah, that's. Um, it was tremendous. Thank you. Yeah, they did a really good job. It's like such sharp. It's really brought out the brush strokes, which is just perfect, really. Just, just what I needed. And that's yeah. done by a local printer in Plymouth Barbican, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, down at Brenton Side. Yeah. yeah. Brenton Side print, top end print. Yeah, really good. Right, thanks a lot for that time. Nice to talk to you again, and we'll talk again soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Cheers. thanks, Chris. Yeah, take care. Hello, you're Emma Storson. No, I'm Storson. That's <laughs> not it, Well, <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was just looking at that label there. Uh, have you got work here? Or? Yeah, yeah, this is my work. Oh, what's your name, sorry? Emma Sporson. Oh, that's what I said. Well, that's spelt wrong. It's Sporson <laughs> oh, with <sorry>. a P. <laughs> yeah, you put me right. Sorry. I'll sack Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your work based on that? Um, well, it's kind of naive. I like simplistic art. Yeah. I like Indian and African simple I think you've seen your work in the gallery, haven't Yes, I? that's right, yeah. I sew little bits of material together. Yeah. So, so how long have you been doing this? Um, I did a degree and a PhD. Yeah, in the twenties. No, uh, Brighton and Central Saint Martin's. Brighton, my word. It's yeah, a, then Saint Martin's in London. That's the place to uh, to get your credits for the yeah, no, for qualification. Saint Martin's and and Brighton was really yeah, exciting as well. Yeah, yeah, good colleges. So how come you're in Plymouth? Uh, I kind of moved down here about 15 years ago. Yes. Just to sort of get out of uh, where I was living. And what was St. Martin's like? Very exciting, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it must have been good to get into St. Martin's. Y well, I was lucky, yeah. <laughs> like, lots of people applied, yeah, so it was good. I mean, it's a place I would have liked to have gone to. Yeah. There's an artist called Robert Lankiewicz. I think he went to either the Royal Academy in London. Yeah, yeah, cool. Or, or, and uh, all St. Martin's. Yeah. Or was that uh, Gilbert and George went to St. Martin's, didn't they? Or I think so. A lot the of people did go to St. Martin's. It's got a good reputation. And they get the uh, 
you know, get at the college behind them and it's easy to get into work from there. Like, yeah, cool. The reputation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, now I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Well, George Pusco from Gilbert and George came from Plymouth as well. Oh, of course, yeah, because yeah, so, they came down here, didn't they? Yeah. A little while ago. Yeah, well, Yeah, they're a couple of dudes, aren't they? Well, he, um, he, he was made, um, um, he was given an yes. honor honorary, um, Degree at the University of Plymouth. Yeah, I saw that's what that. I was trying to think of. Yeah, good. Think yeah, of. good on them. Yeah, yeah that's certainly true. risky uh, work that they do. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be great to have a reputation. Like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, uh, they they got then they uh, got established by hard hitting um, America with their art cards. Yeah. Until they got recognised. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's all about getting recognised. Yeah, it's, it should be easy in this age of the internet, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so what you do then? Uh, Specialised in photo and TV media, fine art photography. Uh, but my videos are doing better than my photography in Plymouth. Oh, wow. So, what so sort I'm of shooting videos? videos. Sorry? What sort of videos? Uh, these sort of videos. Okay, <laughs> nice one, well done. So. Yeah. So, have you had any exhibitions anywhere? Um, yeah, a couple. Bethany O days in London and Brighton and everything. Just got my stuff in that gallery in what Brighton. What was Brighton like then? Yeah, really exciting. Lived on a houseboat. Yeah. Lots of parties. Well, people keep up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you burn yourself out being Brighton. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. That's why I moved down here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people keep telling me to move to Brighton. Oh, right, yeah, you'd love it. Because they think I'd be successful in Brighton. Yeah, I know. I think I should have stayed there. Because, I've, <laughs> I've, because I've, over the last few years, I've been covering my, uh, the, uh, Pride events across uh, Europe. Oh, I used to go to Pride in Brighton. It's so, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to go to Pride in Brighton. Yeah. I went to Barcelona last year. Oh, and, did you? And then pa Paris the year before. Oh, and fab. the year before that. And Amsterdam the year before that. And I've done seven years of London Pride. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, you know, uh, um, I was in the military for 12 years, being dicta dictated to. So my work now yeah. is about people. Oh, great. And who they want to be, yeah. yeah. Um, but we're still in a dictatorship and being told how to think and do things at the moment. Really. Yeah, people so. are interested now, aren't they? So, what did you like about writing? Uh, oh, the side? beach, and you know, I used to like going out in those days a lot, and there's lots of things to do. Yeah. Lots of outdoor parties and stuff. So it was fun, you know. It was, yes. uh, like, it was a good time. <laughs> I was always doing things. Do you meet Zoe Ball? No, I met Norman <laughs> Cook. The royalty. I went to a few parties at Norman Cook's house. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> the, the royalty of Brighton. That's what they are now, but yeah. that's a bit, yeah, it's a long time ago I lived there now, really. Yeah. Cool. Nice to talk to you anyway. Yeah, you too. Have a good time. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Hello Meg. Your work's very mystical, isn't it? <laughs> it is, I suppose. It's always all in my head, really. Are you not into clairvoyancy or anything? Or? No, no. <laughs> not, that, not that I know of, anyway. Who I knows? Like, I like the colours coming through as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's all just sort of like these are... Um, it's unusual. Yeah, these are um, the idea from these here, specifically from... Um, do you know like where the old Indian used to do the cave drawing? Yes. And um, I thought, well, if you did cave drawing today, uh -huh. this is my idea of what maybe it would look like, you yeah. know, what the world would look like on a, on a cave wall. Some of it almost looks like body uh, fluid, fluids, like, um, you know... Uh, Bye-bye. Different interpretation of co uh, Caucasus from the bloodstream. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah thank you. So what sort of paint do you use? Um, it's acrylic. Uh -huh. And you really like to sort of um, I put on the prints afterwards, the um, to sort of like because that's a print there. Yeah. And um, so I embellish the all the little bits around with gold in that. Yeah. So um, <coughs> just to sort of bring it to life a bit more. Yeah, it's an unusual style of painting. I've not seen this sort of work before. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have said that. I didn't realise it. <laughs> But like I said, it's very molecular orientated as well. Yeah, all oh, right. So, uh, what sort of background do, uh, do you come from? Um, just um, do you your work? Um, I used to. Well, I don't know really. I've never worked in art at all. I've done, done any um, art classes or anything. Not in the medical. No. <laughs> <laughs> side at all. No. I worked. Um, used to do hairdressing years ago. Yeah. And um, I, this, I like this one. Yeah, that was inspired by um, na nature, really. You know, wood, woodlands and um, 
much uh, leaves and trees and, and looking more into the leaf. Do you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I sound a bit, don't I really? But uh, that is what, actually what was in my head when I was um, doing it. Uh -huh. But so, so I've got no um, art background really, but I've always um, it's probably better actually done art. You've, you've, you've developed, developed your own style. Because yeah, you haven't I suppose. Been, yeah. Uh, told yeah. how to think. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, really. I, I've been looking. I'm always sort of saying maybe I've missed out really not going to art school. I don't think you've made a mistake at all. I think you're no. better off not oh, going to art school because you, yeah. your work's fantastic. Oh, thank you. It's really nice of you to It's say. made it totally different to anybody else's. This is my first actually, um, my first show actually. Yes. So it's like, well, sort of like people people seeing it properly and then it's um, it's nice to know what, that people like it. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean, because it's like you don't know what it, how the world's going to receive it, do you? No, no, no. If you get, uh, well, if you go to art college, you get into a clone way of thinking. Yeah, oh, it's right. intellectual nonsense a lot of it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it's just horses for courses, you know. Oh, right. So, uh, and you have to, well, it's, it's just meeting a brief. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. So See, I've never looked at that way. It's nice to think. To it's amazing, some of it. Well, and all of it, actually, in different ways. So, you've got um, cards and, um, and prints for sale as well. Yes, I've got some um, prints. These are, these are hand finished prints. Yes. And that's an original. Um, but I wasn't sure what to bring today because it's my first time sort of out and about there so I thought I'd just bring a bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> and it was very windy this morning, I was afraid I was going to lose some at sea. Yeah, it's quite cold here as well <laughs> today, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. And we'll pick up again later on during the week. <laughs> so what how many you... pieces have you got all together? Um, this, um, these, uh, oh, let's see about all what I've got quite here really. But I'm um, working on more sort of tribal stuff at the moment. Yeah. So where I'm sorry going at the moment. I keep sort of changing do you know what I mean, but I suppose that's um comes with life, doesn't it? Yeah. So you get different Evolving. ideas about things, yeah, but yeah. You haven't done any exhibitions yet? No. <laughs> I thought I'd wait till people know me. I'm pretty pretty unknown really at the moment. Yeah, I'll try the galleries on the hoe, try and get some uh, connections with some yeah, of the Yeah, well um, actually um David, David Crocker, he's um, took one of my pictures in his gallery. Yes. But um, I don't know if it's um, yes. we'll go in many people's guys because it's not sort of traditional. A lot of people on the bar looking, they like more traditional kind of art, you yes. know. And and this isn't doesn't really fit into that. So I'm looking for a little yeah, niche at the moment. Well, uh, you know, I've talked to a lot of people, and some people have, are, 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 uh, get a bit um, bored with. Well, nothing but landscapes uh, oh, right. on sale in the city. Well, point so them my way then. <laughs> room for, for the, you know, more adventurous art coming in. But your work's fantastic anyway. Oh, that's really nice. Thank so, you. Your website. I've got a website. Yes, it's just um, sort of. So I got. Um, it's, um, yeah, I'm on the net. Just Meg Hawkins. What's your website? Um, Meg Dash uh, Hawkins Dash Art dot com. Okay, thanks very much. Anyway. Yeah, I got so much spam on there. Though we had to t um, close it down for a bit. Oh, it's all junk now. But he sorted that out now. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it'll you know get out there and people will like it. Good, nice one. Good luck. I'm just about to uh, talk to uh, Peter Foster. Hello, Peter. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to show us your work? Sorry? Do you want to show us your artwork? Yeah, by all means, yeah. So, do you want to come yeah, and uh, talk yeah. about it, if that's okay, all right? Okay, yeah, yeah. This is all based on inspiration from the University of Life. You know? <laughs> Life is a minister, isn't it? This was, uh, this is, the, uh, it's called the Carvery. Uh, it's the sort of thing, obviously grossly exaggerated, but yes. it's the sort of thing that happens at uh, certain places in Plymouth and elsewhere, no doubt, uh, uh, um, yes. when they do this sort of carvery meals, you know. Yes. Um, this is something that I thought would be. Where's well, all, all this excitement? <laughs> yeah. Coming from? It's yeah. if you read that from the paper, from the local paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Workers celebrate completed bridge repairs. And look what just happened. <laughs> a bridge too far. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is the uh, economy style royal banquet. Uh -huh. oh, it's almost cartoon yeah. somewhere, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's all I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how, uh, so, where do you get your ideas from? Just life itself, you know, as I say, the university of life. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm try and look at it with a sense of humour. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. 
yeah, it's all all, all based on humour. So, uh, so, so the background do you, do you come from? Um, mostly engineering, actually. Yeah. So, but this is something that I've always done as a Big hobby. Big industry in terms of engineering, isn't it? Yes. With yeah. Boats and yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. and a lot of these are based on uh, places in Plymouth, yeah. the Barbican, Jenny Cliff. Yeah, I recognise that. Don't yeah. recognise that many people, uh, you know, <laughs> no. from time to time. This is interesting as well. What's this one? This is just. Uh, I was watching the road race on the television, um, probably Tour de France or, or the the. Uh, Oh, that's right. It's class yeah. Oh, <laughs> <Sorry>. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. And they had a bit of a crack up, and I thought uh, it would be nice to sort of include the motorbike with the camera and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And a bit of a laugh. Like. So, yeah. cool. so long yeah. have you been doing this sort of work? All my life. Yeah. All my life. Yeah. yeah. But more so since I retired. I retired about uh, 11, 12 years ago. You get, and, uh, you get any work printed? Uh, yeah, a couple, a couple in the local papers. Um, yeah. Nothing to speak of. But I suppose myself, you don't get regular work in the Herald and the Western Morning News, actually. With this sort of humour, it'd be good. Well, I don't, but um, I, I get most of my um, revenue, if you like, if you want to call it that, from cards. Yeah. Um, well, where do you sell that? Once, I, once I've completed the work, I, um, I have it scanned onto a disc. And I reproduce cards with it, you know, and yeah. uh, they seem to sell quite well, you know. Oh, where's your major outlet? Oh, this sort of thing, exhibitions, yeah. I don't uh, go to any shops or anything, uh, not, you know, I just never bothered with that sort of thing. But I do, um, I do, uh, uh, wherever I exhibit, I put my cards and prints available as well. I've got a website and all that sort of What's thing. What's your website? Um, it's on there, look. So you enjoying the day? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of an experience. Lots of artists around, isn't there? It's yeah, a good, yeah, good vibe nice actually because yeah. they come on interest. It's not, yeah, nice to talk to people, like-minded people, yeah, and it's uh, it's good fun, yeah, yeah, mm. despite the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shame about the cold. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. massive cam camera shake. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> well, thanks a lot anyway. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, yeah. Hello Lindsay, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So what sort of day are you having? It's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold but it's, it's good. Yeah, cold but it's good. Nice to meet other people. Yeah, with common interests. Yes. So, uh, let's have a look at your work then. Can you uh, talk about some of your work? Um, yeah, a lot of it is flowers and meadows, so a lot of interest and inspirations from Devon and back home in Scotland. So yeah. obviously I like flowers and the wildflowers that are on the moors and the uh, in the mountains of Scotland. Yes, so it's a lot of memories from back home. Well, yeah. Things like that. Yeah. So I like textures. Try to create textures in my work and lots of vibrant colours. Uh huh. Happy paintings. So where else in Scotland are you from? Dumfries and Galloway. Yes. So southwest of Scotland. Is that in the country? It is very rural. So, so your uh, your your work's based around uh, you know being in the landscape and in the country then. Very much mainly. so, and also Devon life, also the meadows and that that Devon offers. Uh -huh. I mean, well. that's the good thing about Plymouth. It's uh, got so much uh, country in in a very close it proximity. Has. It has. Very very uh, very landscape. Basically. It has. Yeah. So long so have you been down here? I've been here for about eight years. Yeah. Yeah, so... So what brought you down here? Um, the Navy brought me down here. Yeah. Yeah. Husband or...? Yeah, ex-partner was in the Navy, so uh -huh. he was, so... So you decided to stay down I here? I decided then? to stay. Uh-huh. Decided to stick to my nurse as well, so I practiced down here. Oh, nice one. And I also paint. Yes. Yeah. So how helps you de-stress? Yeah, it does help <laughs> me de-stress. So what areas of nursing do you work in? Um, various. I've done palliative care, I've done um, hall community work, nursing homes, so I've worked for people with dementia. Yeah. So at the moment I'm working with a private company doing assessments, so uh -huh. something different, but office work. Cool. Yeah. So have you, how have you been doing with your painting? It's been very popular. 
Yes. It has, yeah. I mostly sell it through social media, so Facebook. Yeah. But it's becoming very popular. Yeah, it's amazing that people seem to be selling quite well through Facebook. Yeah. Using it as a tool for marketing rather than just a social network. Oh, it's very good for marketing because it will a wider audience you get and people can freely look at your work whenever they want to and also follow you if your progress they, yeah. people like to know your progress where you're from and your inspiration from your artwork so how do you build up your connections on Facebook uh, or interest on Facebook uh, really just adding people like just um, comments on my work and they obviously because um, if someone comments on it their friends see it so their yeah. friends will We'll end up liking so it's page. easy to get friends that way because if you, if you really nearly uh, sort of access friend or bring friends in, then you can get blocked by Facebook. Or yeah, yeah. So you, you're just allowing other people's comments, then people on their Facebook will like their work, or you get people to share your page on their Facebook. Yeah. You know, you either ask them or they're quite happy to do it themselves because if they like a paint and they will share it on their Facebook and then it opens it to everybody else. To have, you, have you got your work in the gallery on the hoe as well? No, I haven't. I haven't got it in any galleries yet. Yeah, well, maybe you ought to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll ask Steve. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot anyway. Okay, thank you. Hello Stephen, I used to go to college with you. <laughs> you did indeed, yeah. <laughs> at uh, Plymouth College of Art and Design many years ago, 1992, 94. Yeah, that was it. And then you became one of the uh, technicians there. Um, oh no, no, I went down to, um, I was down at the City College Plymouth. That's right, yeah. And sorry. I started out as a fun. technician there and ended up as a lecturer down there. As a for lecturer? quite a long time, yeah. Tremendous. So, uh, now you're doing art. Yeah, I, well it's something I've sort of um, always dabbled in, but um, now I'm not teaching it or anything, I've got time to do it myself, so yes. it's one of those things that sort of, I think when you're teaching it you don't tend to practice, whereas huh. as soon as you give up teaching you've got a chance to practice and more time. You and do. you're enjoying it better as well. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. you can focus on it. Yeah. So do you want to show us some of your work, Steve? Yeah, okay. Um, my work's sort of... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'll go this way. Sort of two, two, two different sorts really. I've got the the collages, yes. which are all um, they're all quite um, conceptual stuff really. So they're they're very specific themes. They take a long time to think about. Um, I tend to sort of come up with an idea and then work on it for a long period of time. Yeah. Paint the backgrounds, and then find the images to stick on the top over um, afterwards. And all the images come from newspapers, magazines, various things. Um, the idea behind this is it's, it's not only about consumerism and our sort of wanting to buy stuff all the time, but it's also represented although it's a nuclear holocaust, so it's yes. a bit like a Hiroshima. Um, so you've got the big explosion in the middle which is created out of lots of consumerist products, all the people being attracted to it, it's called they were attracted by its devastating beauty. And that whole idea that we cannot escape, that we want to buy into things that we know are dangerous and we shouldn't be buying into. Yes, um, consumerism. So yeah, so they're all kind of, they're all very conceptual things. And then my other art is the the big bold graphic stuff. Can we just look at this one first? Yeah? Oh yeah. And this is based on the same theme, is it? Well, this is Things They Made Her Dream. So it's, a, it's, a, it's about sort of the patriarchal society and the way that women are kind of made to look at things and want certain things. So um, there's a lot of humour in it as well. So there's an area which is like, it's almost like a thought balloon coming out of her head. And the first thing is a hat and then it's food. But you've got the food there and then you've also got a dream of having an ideal body. Well, if you eat lots, you're not going to have the ideal body. <laughs> so it's kind of a bit, yeah. um, she's tormented by all these things that she wants. Does she want children or doesn't she? Yeah. Um, and there's a male figure in the top corner who's peering down rather sort of, um, he's got a bit of a kind of... Um, Voyeuristic. Yeah, he's got that look to him. Um, but again, the backgrounds are painted first and then the image is put over the top. What so about this one, Steve? This is last year's model, all about our trash society, how we buy lots of things and then the following year throw them all away. So it's the earth, the earth's been hollowed out and it's just being used as a giant landfill. 
So um, yeah, that's that. And this is Apps. Um, Apps is based on the idea of down in Cornwall, the Arminians, is a stone circle. And um, it came from that, the idea of people saying that the stone circle was based as a communication centre. Uh -huh. And I thought about mobile phones today and how everyone's obsessed with mobile phones and how maybe they are the communication of the, the current time. So they're, they're arranged in a stone circle and then you've got all these people all doing things um, but none of them really communicating with each other. It's all done through apps. So you've got the guy at the front, the couple, and all they're thinking about is their phone apps and things like that, rather than actually direct communication. Oh, this is an interesting one. Just seeing this one, Steve. Now, follow the leader is more ambiguous because follow the leader is, um, it came from when I was 11 years old and I had a science fiction magazine which had a picture in it of people jumping off a cliff <laughs> and it was called Lemmings. Yes. Now this came back to me recently and I just thought I want a picture of a cliff with people jumping off it but I don't want a specific reason. It's called follow the leader because they're all following the person in front. Yes. Um, the first lady off the cliff is actually um, a bride but she's smiling and she's happy and some of these children are laughing so there's an element of fun to this that yes. they're enjoying it but also the element that they're just blindly coming along and all jumping off without an apparent reason for like jumping. Lemmings. And there's lots of um, celebrities in there as well so Zara Phillips is in there. Uh -huh. um, there's a guy who was in Coronation Street who's a killer. <laughs> um, some of these other people are just cut out of magazines. They're from adverts and things like that and the babies from Mother Care magazine and things and they're going along with it as well. So, so you're going to show us this other work? So. Yeah, these are my geometrics. Um, they're, they're, they come from my days when I went to Falmouth Art School and studied design and photography and I've gone back to sort of real simplistic just shape and colour. Yeah. And I just wanted to sort of, I started off with smaller versions and then I've gradually made them bigger and bigger. Um, and they purely are based um, an experiment sort of with um, shape and colour. How long have you been doing this sort of work, Steve? Um, these, the geometric ones I've been doing for about uh, ooh, the last year or so now. Uh -huh. So they, they're a recent thing. But it's nice to get into painting. I mean, my background is sort of design and photography. Yeah. But I really love painting now. I don't do a lot of photography at all anymore. Why is that? Um, I just like this. <laughs> There's something more. Yeah. I, I like don't know. It's, it's all interesting. Yeah. Ways, isn't it? It, it's getting more of, out of it. Yeah. I think my photography. I got especially with a digital camera. Yeah. I got to the stage where I was taking thousands of pictures and just. You don't see what you're you taking click anymore. away, yeah. When I used to have a film camera, you really think about what you're doing, and so yeah. you've got 24 shots on a roll of film, and you're making everyone count. And with a digital camera, and you're taking thousands, you, I it's think I've got into the mode of just snapping. It's how you train yourself, because uh, I only moved to, di uh, to di digital photography last year. Right. And so I, when I'm shooting digital, I still think film. Yeah. So I'm very careful with what I'm taking and think about the composition. Yeah. And then you keep the characteristics of your style. Yeah. Better, you know. I think, I mean, my digital camera... Well, that's the, the, the trouble with fashion photography, it's all gone that, down that, start, yeah. that way, where it's just running off thousands of pictures just to get a shot, so there's yeah. no thought process. Yeah, I know, yeah. Anything. To me, that's not photography. No, I know. That's why. That's why I think I've lost interest in it a bit. I've, yeah. I've become too snap happy with photography. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, I'm getting away from that. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you again. Anyway, okay, well, you got a website if you were. Um, yeah, but it's under my wife's name, so <laughs> it's um, we share a website. It's um, www.joebeer-art.com. Uh -huh. Right, thanks right. a lot, Steve. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, nice take care. See you after all this time. Cheers. <laughs> What on earth have you been doing, Glenn? <laughs> broken my leg. <laughs> or broken my ankle. I didn't know you were an actor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, break a leg. Yeah, yeah, well I so, normally do something like... And your finger like... as well. Sorry? And your finger as well. 
Oh, no, no, that's just a little cut. So, how did you manage that then? Um, um, I was lost my footing while um, clearing a bit of brushwood. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! And, uh, landed it. I thought I just twisted it because um, I landed it all funny and the foot flipped. That wasn't so funny. No. Um, <laughs> and uh, by the following morning, um, it was about three times the size it should have been. Crumbs. And I've snapped the fibula. So how long, how long ago was that? That was Thursday. I did it. Um, we put in plaster yesterday. Uh, so it's brave for you to come here today anyway. And oh no, not going to get off your fantastic work. After after all the planning and everything that we've um, has gone into this, there's no way I was going to miss it. Yeah. Um, so everyone's rallied around. Dave picked me up uh, very early this morning. Uh -huh. uh, sometime just gone five. Um, and everyone's been helping me set up the display. So, yeah. Well, it's a great day, but it's a bit cold, but, which is a shame. But the sun's come out now, so. <laughs> it is, yeah. You know, and you're in the shade. I know. <laughs> Uh, I thought you'd done this uh, this balcony. I'm going to get on with some painting in a minute. So. Cool. Well, I'll catch you when you do some painting yeah. in a minute. Okay. All right, cheers then. Cheers.